Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. Today we're looking at patella height and how do we measure. This is mainly in regards to patella alta. So patella alta is when the patella is sitting higher than the normal. So there are certain radiographic measurements that are important in patella alta that we should be aware of. Um, we're just gonna briefly talk about the common ones. Now, the first we're gonna talk about is the Blumensatz line. So what is a Blumensatz line? So Blumensatz line is basically this whitish line here. So if I draw here, okay. So that's the Blumensatz line. Now this X-ray is a lateral X-ray of the knee. All the measurements are done on the lateral X-ray. Ideally it should be a 30 degrees X-ray. This is slightly less than 30 degrees flexion X-ray. But uh, just for the theory and just to know how the measurements are done this should this should be okay uh, so this is the blumen sats line and um, so the blumen sats line should ideally meet at the inferior pole of the patella in a 30 degree flexion view but as in this x-ray you can see the patella is nowhere near this line so uh, this is the first thing that we should measure the blumen sats line okay uh, the second most common measurement that's done is called as insole salivati ratio. So insole salivati ratio. So the insole salivati ratio is basically calculated by using the patella that's here and the patella tendon that goes from the inferior pole of the patella to the tibial tuberosity here. You should look at this notch in the tibial tuberosity uh, for measurement. So. What we're going to do is measure from the superior pole of the patella to the inferior pole of patella. So that's our first measurements. And um, the second measurements is going to be from the inferior pole, pole of the patella to the tibial tuberosity. That's the second measurement. Okay. So the ratio, when we calculate the ratio, we do it from here. So the inferior pole of the patella to the tibial tuberosity, that's the length of the patella tendon. And then the second one is from the superior pole of the patella to the inferior pole of the patella. If you look here, the ratio is 1.54. Now the normal ratio is 0.8 to 1.2 for the insal salivati ratio. So as you can see that in this person, the insal salivati ratio is way higher than normal. Higher insal salivati ratio is indicative of uh, high riding patella or a patella alta the way i remember is a for above or a for alta and b for below or b for baja so the patella is higher than normal it is called as a patella alta and if it is lower than normal it is called as a patella baja the things to remember here are is uh, the normal for the insult salivary ratio is about 1.0 with ratios of 0 0.8 to 1.2 a high riding patella will have a ratio of more than 1.2 as we can see 1.54 in this patient and a low riding patella will have in cell salivati ratio of less than 0 0.8 so that's the first measurement the in cell salivati ratio this is the most common one that we do okay uh, the second uh, that uh, we're going to look at is something known as Blackburn Peel Index. So Blackburn Peel Index along with the next one, the Caden D. Shams Index, uh, based upon the patella articular surface. So insal salivati was on the severe and the inferior pole of the patella, so the length of the patella. Uh, whereas the Blackburn Peel Index and the Caden D. Shams are based upon the patella articular surfaces. So the way Blackburn Peel is calculated is first we draw a line along the tibial plateau just like that so that's a line along the tibial plateau just a tangent along the tibial plateau so that's the first thing we do and the second line goes perpendicular from the tibial plateau to all right the second line goes from the tibial plateau uh, perpendicular to the inferior part of the articular surface of the patella and the third is from the articular surface 
of the patella to this line. Now you can see here what we're looking at is a ratio of So what we're looking at is the ratio of 2 is to 3. So uh, the perpendicular from the inferior pole of the, uh, from the inferior articular surface of the patella to the ratio of the articular surface. So that ratio 2 is to 3 here is 1.45. Um, for the black wind feel, the normal is about 0 0.6. And patella alter high riding patella is when it's more than 1.0. So again, uh, in this patient, uh, from the Blackman Peel Index, we can see it's a high riding patella. Okay, now I'm gonna have a look at the third one, which is known as a Caton Deschamps Index. Now the Caton Deschamps Index is pretty simple as well. So this is again based on the measurements um, from the article surface of the patella. So. In Caton Deschamps index, the first thing we do is we um, mark a line from the anterior most point of the tibial plateau here to the inferior part of the patella. So that's line number one, and the line number two is the sphere and the inferior parts of the uh, uh, patella articular surface. So we calculate the ratio. As you can see, the ratio in this is about 1.55, and Caton Deschamps index normal is about 1 and anything more than 1.3 is indicative of a high riding patella and anything less than 0 0.6 is indicative of a low riding patella or a patella maha. So these are the three things that you need to remember. Um, uh, the three ratios and the Blumensatz line. So Blumensatz line, this line here, and then the, as we explained, the insult salawati ratio, the blackman Peel index and the Caton Deschamps. Thank you for watching, please like and share, subscribe to our channel and watch our next video. Also comment on the videos that you like and share amongst your friends. Also please do visit at nafmedvideos.com for detailed lectures and more notes. Thank you, please keep coming back.